let's warp a track. So when you have an audio track, start turning on warp. And we're going to look for the first downbeat. Usually you can tell by these little spikes here that this is where the beat starts. Turn the metronome off for a second. If the beat starts later in the song, just set this to one by right clicking. And then we'll get rid of this for now. First marker. And now we just want to find the first beats. So this is a one right here. So we stretch that. That should line up with the metronome now. And then we know that this needs to go to the fifth bar. And as you do this, it'll normally line up pretty well. Now this is a live drummer, so you have to pay a little more attention than electronic songs, which is why I'm using this as an example instead, because this is more difficult. A lot of times with an electronic song, if you get the basics down, you can almost go all the way to the end and just line things up once you have the basic lineup. But with this, what we want to do, we can already see that you know this is off from the grid. So we kind of just keep going. And I can visually see it here. And I'm just stretching to the, the bar here. So what I'll do is I'll turn the metronome on and then I'll start dropping this speaker to just see how things sound with the metronome. Noticing things are starting to get off over here. So you can kind of pull that back. And you do this all the way through the song. And then once that part's warped, then you could come back here. And lucky for us, this is showing kind of right where we want it. It's eight bars. So it's usually it's going to be a multiple of four bars in the beginning. Two, four, eight, 16 bars before the drums come in. 